up-to-date weather information for your neighborhood. Only on the Weather Channel. If you grew up in the 2000s or earlier, you probably remember seeing the WeatherScan channel at some point or another. In fact, by the early 2010s, hundreds of thousands of people were watching WeatherScan every day for their traffic and weather reports. However, by 2018, WeatherScan's viewership had dropped by over 95%, and as I'm reading this in 2022, WeatherScan will be completely discontinued in less than two weeks. The reason for this decline may seem obvious, as more and more Americans are getting weather apps from their phone, but did you know negotiations between Weather Group Television and Dish Network got so intense that Dish dropped WeatherScan entirely after only four years of service and replaced them with their competitor? Several other failed partnerships, along with shady management tactics, caused WeatherScan a nosedive in the late 2010s. To understand all of this, we first need to go back to where things started. In the early 1990s, as radar improved and computers began to automate weather, the Weather Channel was able to expand and cover most of America with some sort of local forecast. In fact, viewership for the Weather Channel exploded in the mid-1990s, which encouraged the Weather Channel to start some kind of constant local coverage. This originally began as Local on the Eights in 1996, before it was discontinued only a year later in 1997. The demand for constant local conditions persisted though, so WeatherScan Local launched two years later in 1999. This new local focus channel allowed anyone to turn on the TV and know the weather in their area immediately, which was a big selling point of the channel and it took off immediately. People were starting to use WeatherScan local every day, for example, checking on it before traveling or going on a hike. As WeatherScan local continued to grow, so too did its options. They added many useful forecasts such as airport conditions, beach conditions, a golf forecast, and even a ski condition segment. Since the segments rotated in and out, anyone could know anything they wanted to know about weather within about 15 minutes, which was helpful at a time before weather apps. Around this time, WeatherScan also found its iconic jazzy soundtrack that continues to be used today. I'll link a playlist in the description if you want to listen to that. And trust me, it's good. You'll want to. As the early 2000s turned into the mid-2000s, WeatherScan Local rebranded into WeatherScan, bringing local conditions along with a new traffic segment thanks to a partnership with Traffic Pulse and this will come up later, just so you know. WeatherScan was now a good one-stop channel for someone who wanted to know weather and traffic in the morning before they left for work, and WeatherScan's viewership continued to soar. After several more visual overhauls, WeatherScan headed into a new decade with high hopes, thanks to new studios and equipment funded over the past 10 years by the Weather Channel's massive expansion. However, in late 2010, executives at the Weather Channel cut up a contract with Traffic Pulse after negotiations broke through, and the traffic segment was canceled and never returned. This was a motivator for many to watch the channel, and although viewership continued to grow, it became much slower and would end up contributing to an eventual decline. This decline really got going a few years later as popularity for the new Weather Channel app grew and more and more Americans began to check the weather on their smartphones. This was cited as a main reason for leaving when suddenly, in March 2015, Verizon Fios cut their coverage of WeatherScan and the Weather Channel, once again citing a failed negotiation and changing demographics. This came as a surprise to many as WeatherScan was still getting pretty good ratings at the time but the fortress would still continue to crumble later that year when negotiations with Dish Television got so tense, Dish decided not only to drop WeatherScan, but to replace it with Weather Nation, a direct competitor of the Weather Channel and WeatherScan. These drop providers seemed to signal the beginning of the end for WeatherScan, and this would further be proven when the Weather Channel removed their logo from WeatherScan in 2016, possibly trying to distance themselves from the dying channel. That same year, Cox dropped WeatherScan, although it was likely from a viewership standpoint and had little to do with unfair negotiations from Weather Group Television. 
It seems like the fortress that was weatherskin was crumbling, but the fortress did collapse completely on December 5th, 2017 when Xfinity, Weatherskin's largest provider by a mile, quietly cut the channel from its lineup, leading to small backlash online, although sadly, most of America had already moved on to using apps to get their weather. What followed was an eerie post-mortem period where only small regional cable providers continued to carry weather scan. In early 2018, Byron Allen and his company Entertainment Studios purchased WeatherScan, and hopes were that WeatherScan would soon be coming back as new ownership could offer more fair negotiations. Sadly, this is not what happened, and several years went by with a few small providers dropping WeatherScan. Although overall the smaller stations were relatively loyal to WeatherScan and still carry it today. This will soon be impossible, however, as in late 2021, Weather Group Television announced that they would no longer maintain the Intellistar computer units that automatically run the WeatherScan channel. This would mean that soon the machines would become obsolete and inoperable, and it seemed the end was finally coming for WeatherScan. This would be confirmed further when in September 2022, Weather Group Television wrote a letter to the remaining cable providers of WeatherScan, stating that the channel must be terminated by or on December 9th, 2022. The backlash from this was much smaller, although those who were true fans of the channel didn't take the news well, including myself. The backlash was apparently enough to prompt a message from one provider, Mediacom, who sent out a custom message through the channel apologizing for the channel being terminated and claiming that they had, quote, no control over the decision. By the wording of this message, it's obvious that Weather Group Television was directly responsible for the terminations. And worse, they didn't even bother to consult the cable providers before announcing the termination, which seems to be a poor way of handling a declining TV channel. Sadly though, the cable providers couldn't have done anything to save WeatherScan and the end will soon come. As of 2022, several YouTube channels continue to carry coverage of WeatherScan, and if you're interested in seeing the dying moments of WeatherScan, I'd recommend eHat 600's channel or Fenwick's television archive. These channels seem to be the only ones still uploading new archived WeatherScan footage. There's also plenty of Wikipedia articles and pages dedicated to the history of WeatherScan, so if you're more interested in the really specific stuff like music and flavors, they have plenty of that stuff on there. I'd also recommend checking out IntelliGuy's channel, Weatherman99's channel, and the, all of the channels that I sourced footage from in this video, I will be leaving in the description. So check them out, they've got tons of uh, archived weather scan footage from all sorts of decades, from all sorts of places around the country, um, some error footage, some rare footage, all that stuff, it's all out there. Please check it out, these creators are awesome for archiving this stuff, and um, this video would probably not be possible without all of their work recording, translating from VHS to digital, and just putting that stuff online for free for all of us to watch. And it, it really is cool to see that you know, there still is a little bit of this channel left out there forever, or as long as YouTube exists, so. I was rendering this video and happened to see that sadly, Frankfurt plant board cable discontinued weather scan early and replaced it with a local alternative. So sadly, it seems eHat 600 can no longer upload new footage, but I'm sure that channel has plenty of unseen older footage that has yet to be uploaded, so don't you should still check out the channel. Anyways, with that being said, I'll leave it up to you guys to make the decision of who you think was really responsible for the downfall of, of weather skin, whether you think it was the terrible negotiations or, or whether this was inevitable with people switching over to their phones. But um, thank you guys for watching this documentary. Uh, took a while to put together, I know. I'm trying to upload at least once a week now, so that'll continue. 
but this one just took so long to get all that footage off YouTube and compile it together and it just took a lot longer so I'm sorry about that but other than that I think that's all it for this video thanks for watching